And hello and welcome to the broadcast. It is Monday and I am thrilled to be back with you. Nothing Beast here and uh, have it a, uh, had a great weekend. Hope you did the same. Uh, I think in the States they did the uh, Daylight Savings Time, I think. <laughs> I have to keep on top of that sort of stuff because when I communicate with my friends and family back home, um, I got to keep the time difference uh, in, in order. And uh, normally it's, it's like um, where I'm at, you have to uh, subtract five hours and then flip the a.m. p.m., um, which is the easiest way. I mean, some people would be like, oh, you just remove 18 hours. I'm like, yeah, I know, but it's like, if I just do five hours and then you flip the AM, PM, you get the same thing. But now it's like, I just need to do four hours instead of five. And then when Australia does their daylight savings time, it drops down to three hours with the uh, <laughs> algebraic uh, equation. Hope you all had a great day. I had a really good day. Um, it was, uh, I got some stuff done around the house, a little bit of chores and everything, but uh, I also had some uh, video game success. Um, I, uh, I play Dead, Dead by Daylight. Uh, I don't broadcast it so much because um, it's a frustrating game. I might change that, though. We'll, we'll have to wait and see. But um, I've been playing, I've got over a thousand hours uh, into the game and I've been leveling up a lot of killers and I'm, a, I'm mostly a killer main but I like playing the survivor side as well. Well earlier today I was playing uh, the Death Slinger and I had something happen that uh, I've never had with the Death Slinger. I got a perfect... Whoop, there we go. I got a perfect game and I was running barbecue and chili so I got double the points. So uh, yeah I was, uh, very, I was very proud of that. Um, I was just trying to get some last minute um, rounds in before the uh, reset. Uh, if you're not familiar with uh, Dead by Daylight, um, every th the 13th of every month they reset all of the uh, ranks. As you play, you rank up. That's, that's in the picture there. There's a, there's a little thing in the um, upper right and it's uh, I'm, I, I'm at silver one. There's uh, red, gold, silver, bronze and ash and it all goes down and there's like three rounds of ash three rounds of uh bronze four of silver four of gold and four of uh, iridescent which is red and the higher the rank is uh when you have uh when you when you reach the uh, end of the month uh on the 13th that when they reset you get a reward well, you get a rank for your killer, you get a rank for your survivor, and over uh, over the both of them, I was able to get uh, 1.4 million uh, blood points, which I use to uh, distribute to all of my uh, killers and level everything up a little bit. Well, I had just uh, purchased uh, Legion. Uh, hadn't hadn't taken Legion out for a while, and I thought, you know, I don't have anywhere else I want these points to go to, so I'm going to level up Legion. So I took Legion for a test drive. Every time I get a new killer, I don't even compete. I just go in, test it out, see how well it works, and uh, I don't have any expectations for uh, winning or, or anything like that. Well, my first round actually did pretty good. I got a couple of kills uh, of the four, uh, and then I did my second round. I had, I was like, okay, I got a little better idea of what their power is like, what their abilities are, and I said, let's really take take it for a test drive and see what happens, and this is what happened. I got a perfect round, my second round. I was like, holy crap. <laughs> Maybe I'm better at this game than I give myself credit for. So uh, yeah, I was uh, I was really thrilled with that one. As you can see, the um, icon up in the corner, the reset had already happened. Let me uh, flip that over there. See, it was a uh, silver one. And now it's back down to Ash 3, which is where everybody starts. And over the next, you know, month or so, everybody levels up and everything. And, and uh, the thing I like about it is, is when you reach a certain level, you can't fall back. Even if you play, like, shit, you just, you don't retract past that. And I, I, I kind of like that. So if you make it to, like, Gold 3... Um, you can't ever fall back to gold four. You just stay at that level until the reset and everything. So that's, that's kind of nice. But I'm not done. I'm definitely not done. There's still a, a, a definite uh, more uh, stuff that I did today because um, it, it was just a good day all in all. Uh, my wife had to uh, take, um, she had to go to work 
And uh, while she was at work, I decided that I was uh, going to have a, uh, a nice big meal ready to go. And uh, the weather's been kind of cooled off a little bit, and I felt like a curry, uh, Japanese curry. Um, I, uh, about a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, uh, I found this little place in, well, I found it a while ago, but uh, I took a trip there. And uh, it's this little place in Sydney. Uh, I just like to call it Little Japan. It's uh, down in the uh, Asian part of town, and uh, it's it's really a cool place. Uh, there's Asian shops. There's uh, some gachapon machines. And it's just this little mini mall sort of uh, building, and there's multi-levels, and, and there's these great uh, shops that make it look like you're sitting like outside, and they've got lights and lanterns and everything set up. And, and I haven't been there for a while. But anyway, years ago, uh, a year ago, a year and a half ago, maybe two years at this point, uh, I had my first ever Japanese curry. I'd never had one before, and it was delicious. Well, I got and did some research and everything, and I figured out uh, a recipe for this. So that's what I had for uh, dinner today today a Japanese curry. I like to think mine's pretty authentic. I changed a little bit here and there to uh, make things, but that, that, that's actually what I made. That's That was my dinner right there. Uh, very proud of how it turns out. The, uh, the, um, the uh, katsu pork uh, always uh, fries up so nice. Uh, a little bit of rice underneath the pork there and then the uh, curry. Uh, now, the, the recipe always calls for uh, potatoes, carrots, and onions, but I like to throw in some peas, and, and uh, this time around I threw in some celery into that one, and uh, that was a, a pretty good meal. But, uh, yeah, I, I'm very proud of uh, some of my culinary uh, um, prowess and everything. So uh, I know it's <laughs> boring and everything, but it's like, you know what? It's my fucking show. I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. It's not just about video games. <laughs> so uh, that's, that's basically what my day was. Um, a uh, successful uh, run of um, Dead by Daylight learning a new character, and uh, topping the whole thing off with a, a delicious uh, medium spicy curry uh, for the uh, for the capper. So, all right, well, let's uh, switch things over now. We're going to get to uh, today's game, and the game is Ocean Horn. And I had a little bit of difficulty with uh, my previous... Uh, round on Friday because I was uh, having some difficulties uh, trying to uh, get through one of the dungeons as well as uh, running around with um, Hermit's uh, fetch quests. And um, I, I actually, when I was looking it up, I accidentally found out that I'm not that far from the end, actually. But he wants a, he needs a cuckoo weather vane, and I think it's Riptide Reef. We got the boots so that we can do the jumping uh, over the rocks and everything. So that's that's where we're heading off. But I, I found out that we're we're not that far from the ending. I might I might be able to get to the ending tonight on tonight's uh, broadcast. We'll find out. But um, when I was when I was there's there's not that much left in the game. So we'll get this uh, we'll get this here and um I'm not going to do a whole lot of, like, side quests or anything like that. Just try to get whatever I can. Uh... So, Nato, Trito. Oh. Hear me this one last time. Let Papa, can you hear me? Let safe path and guide him towards the answers. Destiny never gave him the chance to escape this burden. I'm losing my strength. I'm far away, lost with this monster, and I don't know how much longer I can retain it. But until my last breath, I will wait for the moment to be reunited with my boy again, no matter what lies ahead. We will be fighting along your side. 
Sol, Nato, Trito. Okay. Well, let's let's continue on down our way. I thought we had made that journey just a little too fast. I had a restless sleep last night. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is... Yeah, yeah, this is it. Break a crate with the trencher boots. Collect bloodstones. Got the boots actually have their own uh, designation. Oh wow, he can reach across there. All right, let's switch over to. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely take uh, take advantage of having uh, the uh, uh, being able to do that. So I found out, uh, I also did a little bit of research into uh, what these uh, bloodstones are actually for. And you have to have, uh, let's see, I got 22 of them. I think that I think that you gotta have like 50? I might be mistaken on that, but there's a bunch of them. And the reward is, uh, if you get like I think it's like if you get 30 of them, you get a uh, magic spell. But it's not mandatory uh, to beat the game. And if you get all of them, you get an achievement. Set that. I have the feeling that that needs to go into the corner there. Wait, what did that say? With my last ounce of strength, I set up trials for anyone who is trying to claim the Coral Saber for himself. Only a righteous warrior can get his hands on the legendary weapon, Thorn the Brave. Well, I like to think I'm pretty righteous in my own way. Okay. Okay, that's not it either. Maybe it's maybe it's that one. Okay, 
Oh. They bear the same armor and share the same vows, but in this cruel hour they are pushed into a duel. Do I have to make them face each other? Come back to it in just a little bit. Let's explore a little bit more of the island. sword is uh, in the uh, monster's head. They say they got to be locked in battle. I'm assuming that means I have to push that other one over to here so they're facing each other. It makes a little it makes a little chime noise when I walk past this area. Do 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 do. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I think, I think I have it. Let me try something here. Huh, how do I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Do that. Push that here. All right, now 
shall we bomb? There we go. All right. This ruin holds a secret deep under the spot where widows weep. Holds a secret deep under the spot where widows weep. Secret holds the this ruin holds the secret deep under the under the spot where widows weep. See if we can drop something into the well. Nope. Can we set the tree on fire? Wow, that used a lot of my mana. Try to bomb it. I don't know. Oh, wow. It's kind of grotesque <laughs> bombing the. Uh... What do we got here? Oh, we got the key. Master key. All right. Okay. And an achievement Bomber Archaeologist. <laughs> Use bombs to break walls ten times. Get a little bit of mana back. You have shown wisdom and power, but your final trial is still ahead of you. Attempt to pull the Coral Saber from Sea Lork's head. Only a true champion will succeed. Wow. 
Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's a lot easier than in uh, Breath of the Wild. <laughs> How am I doing for experience? Okay, I gotta get uh, 2,500. to uh, level up. Ooh! Treasure! What'd we get? What'd we get? What'd we get? Uh, heart piece. How many do I have? Oh, that's just the first one. Is there anything else on the island? Doesn't look like it, so we're gonna take off. Oh, wait a second, we need to... I still need the uh, weather vane. I thought it was on this island, but... Um... Well, I guess. No. Better not do that. Well, how the hell do I get back there? hold down the right trigger any harder. I was holding it down. I don't know what happened there. That's weird. supposed to get back there. I can't walk up any of these ledges. They're too high. And that's blocking my path there. Boy, this game is so weird. single island hoping that I just stumble across it.
All right, so we go to Riptide Reef. We get the Coral Sword. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, feel free to load 500 damn uh, photographs so I can scroll right past them. Okay, so finish up, set sail for Hermit Island. Okay, so uh, Hermit needs the stool, he needs a travel bed, needs the fireball, and then a weather cuckoo. Tickerel. Primony. I'll see if there's anything new in the Adventurer's Guild. Graveyard Island? Hmm. Sounds like a fun, spooky little place. gave me a stone? I, I went through that like way too fast. Oh. what I meant to do. I think we've read that. Yeah. And I have hit that target, but let's just double check. Yeah. Oh, that weather cuckoo on top of Mito's house is screeching night and day. I swear one day I'm just going to pluck it out and throw it to the sea. Okay, so whose house? Mito's house. <laughs> whose house? Mito's house. I said whose house? Mito's house. radar work just automatically? I guess, yeah. Alright, so where's Mito's house? They use these names like I'm supposed to know. Wait, 
Nita was such a great fellow, I admire his big black mustache. Oh! Is that it? Oh! They never referenced it, they never pointed it out. I don't know how the hell I was just supposed to know, you know? that That's how those quests usually work. You know, they, they acknowledge something and then you have to, you know, deductive reasoning remember, oh yeah, that's that's where I was, I've already seen that. I was just like, huh, are they refer- you know, so that was, was like, are, they're not referencing something that I'm familiar with. Oh, there we go. Like, uh, in the example that I used before, it was like, uh, in Wind Waker, um, they, I think it was Wind Waker, they make reference to, you know, the coat of arms that, uh, has been in the family for years, and then, you know, when someone else says, it looks like a coat of arms, you're like, wait a second, Grandma told me about that. That's, that's, and then you take it off the wall and it turns out to be not a coat of arms, but an actual shield, and then you use that. That's not what happened here. No one's referenced the cuckoo on top of the house in any way, shape, or form. And he just says, I need a cuckoo. Great, where the fuck should I start looking? <laughs> So hopefully this is the last of Hermit's uh, ridiculous fetch quests. Excellent! Uh, oh wait, I was reading them like uh, Rick. Excellent! You've managed to gather all the supplies we need. Now drag your boat over here. Yes, you heard me. You're ready to go. <laughs> A hot air balloon. That's... <laughs> I'm sorry, folks! I don't know how it works! Goodbye! <laughs> oh, I think I'll miss you most of all, Scarecrow. I don't know why I needed a, uh, a chicken on top of the thing, but... Uh, uh. <laughs> he just had a look on his face like, I don't trust this shit. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I think when I was a lad, I met a girl who said she had fallen from the sky. Mary. I always called her the princess of the sky said she had lost her memory, but whenever she looked at that island in the sky, I could see a longing in her eyes. Did she really come from the sky? Oh, that's what it is. It's Boyer Island. Wow, you can see your home island from here. There's your house and the swimming spot where you used to go with your dad. Oh, that. Oh, okay. New island revealed. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yeah, I thought it was gonna be something like that. Grand Core.
Is that all? Storm shelter. Can't go in there. Are you a statue? I think you are a statue. looking old fortress. What could be in there? Welcome to my shop. What would you like to have? Oh, of course. I spend my money on nothing and now I have something that I can actually spend some money on. That's about typical. Happens in real life, too. I always tell everybody it's uh, very important to pay attention to when I say that I'm uh, about to buy something like uh, a new console or, or a video game because as soon as I do, a new version will be released or uh, there will be a massive sale. Did you come here from the, isle, uh, from the land beneath? You should see Grandmaster Ludwig. He is in the Grandmaster's study. The Grandmaster's study is in the Grandmaster Hall. Grandcore was the mighty power source of ancient Arcadia. It used to be interconnected to all islands under the Arcadian regime. Communication machines, everything worked through Grandcore. Because of Grandcore, we have access to old archives, and we can even use some of its computing power. Too bad nobody can understand the code. So I lived to see the day, the daring youngster with a flying machine. I am Arcadian Grandmaster Ludwig. Welcome to Sky Island. We are all descendants of Arcadians. Triloth, the dark energy of creation, 
lifted this mass of land and separated us from the surface a thousand years ago. You are seeking the emblem of sun. That reminds me of the old days. We had a tradition. Every year, a young maiden was chosen to represent Sol, goddess of light. She was given the emblem of sun, and she would give joy to our people. Twenty years ago, we faced a horrible tragedy. A scholar studying the Arcadian Code went mad. He said he had listened to a ghost in the machine that had promised to bring Sky Island back to the ground. All he needed was the emblem of sun. In our despair, we believe the promises. Oh, wow. I know, she got married and had me. Was lost ever since. With your airship broken, there's no way to go back to the ground now. But don't worry, you'll get used to living here after a while. Users of Forbidden Magic. This is a book about Mesmeroth and his forbidden magic. It seems that he wasn't a very likable person. We know a lot about the uh, lands below. Oh yes, we do. Everyone has heard of the story of the girl who got away. I wish I could be like her. Just soar down to the adventures below. I wonder what happened to her. That must be the infamous Graveyard Island on the horizon. Listen, they're not telling you the whole truth. There's a way to get out of here. Find a key in the Grand Master's study that is used to enter the caverns nearby. Go to the far end of the cave and meet me there. If you need a hint, the red book in the nearby house. Archimedes, a great inventor. Oh, that was a lot longer than I thought. Oh. Study the Arcadian history. <laughs> I wasn't even really paying attention. Oh, and I leveled up. You are a voyager. Jumping and rolling now consumes less stamina. Your items have also been refilled. Every time I level up, I'm already at, you know, full stock and everything. Ah, an outsider. Fascinating. But I'm more interested in machines. You probably saw the metal gate on your way here. That gate leads to the island core and the machine and to a machine responsible for keeping the island afloat. We've been trying to turn it off for hundreds of years. Scientists like me have lost their minds in solving the ancient Arcadian code. So far, we haven't been able to enter the island core. The entrance is shut tight. Well, it sounds like something I'm probably going to have to do. All right, so a red book. I need to find a red book. Said in the nearby house. Maybe not this one.
Face the night of old and remember to light up the court of uh, the torches told. <laughs> the torches still cold. Done yet. Well, I'm not seeing any unlit torches. Is there a red book in here? Or have I already have I already figured out the red book? I thought she said there was a key. Maybe she meant metaphorically. Face the night of old and remember to light up the court of uh, the tor I did it again. The torch is still told. The torch is still cold. Jesus Christ, the damn thing got hit me in the head.
Oh, wait a second. There was a, there was a treasure chest, but I don't... There's another path. where I came in. I... When I step in the area, it makes that do-do-do-do. Is there a target that I'm missing? How many bombs is the damn thing was it gonna take? Okay, so I'm standing right on top of wherever this treasure is supposed to be. I can't push that. I don't know. I don't know, and I'm 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 running out of patience, un unfortunately. So, yeah, we're just going to keep looking it up. Use my only key on this on this entrance. Ah, my phone is so damn slow.
Sometimes these guides are um, way more helpful than they need. I don't know how I was supposed to know that. I was kind of pushing the thing around and it didn't want to move. See, now that one was an obvious bomb spot. <laughs> Alright, well, anytime I see those, I know I'm on the right track. This is the place. You see the machinery up there, up the stairs? Throw your bomb right there. Oh, come on, kid. This guy is obviously up to shenanigans. Your mother's necklace is missing. What a surprise. Wow, got a lot of uh, a lot of experience points for that. Welcome to Grand Core. You are now stepping inside the greatest Arcadian achievement. This mega structure is a hub of communication, an energy source, and the brain that enabled our kingdom's growth and prosperity. Today, Grand Core is connected even to the mo uh, to the remotest places on Gaia. The most remote places, I think. Remotest. <laughs> Warehouse sector, maintenance sector.
did absolutely nothing. Oh crap. Boy, you cannot run if there is any item near uh, next to you. It just ain't gonna let you do it. Apparently I went the wrong way.
what looked like a solid crate actually was not. This game has an amazing track record of giving me everything that I need, everything uh, when it comes to inventory space, except for what I need. I, I just want a bomb. I need more than one. I don't need coins. I don't need arrows. I don't need mana. I need bombs. Ah! If I was throwing it at an enemy, it would hit them, it would hit them right on the damn head. But when I need to be uh, when I need to be accurate outside of battle. No, there is literally nothing else here. Wow. Now drop some bombs. You worthless. Ah. I like that when the leaves fall, they just keep falling. Watch, they just go right through to the, uh, uh, below the island. Wow. All that for two goddamn bombs. Jesus. Stop it! Oh, it blew it up. <laughs> that, 
That makes so much sense. I have a bomb right in front of it, but no, if I drop it in the water below, that's what gets the damn thing exploded. <sighs> Jesus. Oh! I was going to say, if I opened that up and it was just some ammo or some bombs, I was not going to be happy. I need the big key for that one. See, now I'm getting bombs left and right. I still don't know how to activate these things. Is it the laser? Yeah.
Welcome to the showroom. You will find the historical artifact, the Shield of Kronos, in the room to your right. Please mind your surroundings. The security in the showroom is extremely tight. Room to your right. That's too far. Ah! Oh, just made it. Still need the key though. Oh, there's a timer. Okay, hang on a second. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know what the hell those are even doing.
Ow, dang it. This is the Shield of Kronos. It was designed by Archimedes before the creation of the Living Fortresses. The Shield of Kronos was used to defend Arcadia in the first Dire Folk War. It reflected the sunlight and caused enemy ships to burst into flames. Later, Archimedes... Actually, that's... That's actually a story in real life, yeah. Uh, later, Archimedes used the same reflective technology in the death rays of the Living Fortresses. Uh, Mythbusters actually uh, tried doing the Archimedes... Uh, defense. And um, I don't think they got very far with it, though. Ooh, it puts me in a bubble, too. to get back there. <laughs> Can he walk up that? Wow. He, I, I didn't think he'd be able to fit up that catwalk there. Okay, it doesn't work on fire. Damn button down. This game is ridiculous. Oh, 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 I'm out of stamina. That's why. What? They just keep giving me magic. I don't need magic. I have plenty of mana. In an emergency, use this button to release the security key to the Grand Core.
of an emergency, use the cooling flood to lower the core's temperature. Release the key to enter the core for damage analysis. This is getting complex. Temporary cooling flood, use with caution. how fast the game respawns enemies. Maybe I just have to go for a swim and when it retreats, hope that I've got some land. I guess that worked out. Hmm. A golden gear from ancient times. You can have 50 coins for it. Okay, um, now I just gotta find where the big key goes, I don't, <laughs> I don't recall.
Oh, okay. Past the big guy. Isn't this working? What am I missing? Do you hear me, master? of creation. The order will be restored. I will resurrect as your god. Oh boy. It's gonna take a long time if that's all I can do to him. Okay, so if I touch him, I'm going to take a look at some of this. I, uh, I forgot to look to see if that did any damage to him. So if I touch him with the glow, he disappears. Okay, so that did damage him when I hit him with my sword.
Okay, there we go. That's a little better. Oh, of course he's got to change form now. I was going to say, don't make me sit through the cutscene again. Jeez, how, how, how far in the ballpark do I have to be? Him off the fucking map. I can't reach him over there. Gee, which one's the real one? The one that's. <laughs> oh, jeez. Maybe the turbines. Let's hit the turbines and see what happens. Okay. There we go. Alright, I got your ass now.
Oh, now he's doubling up. My defeat means nothing. It has already begun. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it works like that. <laughs> there are no words to describe our gratitude. You brought back the hope that Arcadia can be restored. Grand Core is back in the power grid. Its power flows through the ancient kingdom. We were shocked to find out Mesmeroth's spirit was lurking inside our machines all this time. I'm afraid the program is still active and its purpose is to resurrect Mesmeroth himself. With the Shadow Mesmeroth interface destroyed, the only way for Mesmeroth's resurrection is to move into another machine. And the only Arcadian machine left is Living Fortress Oceanhorn. But for the first time in the history of Sky People, our studies pay off. We can open the door to Arcadia Ruins for you. Okay. Well, does that mean that's the need to confront Oceanhorn, but before you go, don't forget to stock up and prepare yourself in every possible way. Let's go to Home Island first and just see what that is before we go to the obvious final, final battle. There are no words now, only sorrow. Mary, me, and the kids stayed a night on this island. We were tired from the storm and were happy to find a cave to stay in. She was outside just for a moment. Then it came. I could not stand on my feet because the whole island was shaking from the weight of ocean horn. All I could hear was a scream and a horrible war horn. She is gone. She was gone. That monster is after me. And I was hiding inside.
<laughs> 500 XP just for there. Ooh, and leveled up. You are a vanguard. You can now carry up to 20 arrows at a time. Your items have also been refilled. a toy soldier. Someone can buy it for 20 coins. That's kind of weird, just a cave that goes nowhere. What did it say? It is a fearful thing to love what death can touch. I'm done here. <coughs> where is... where are the dots? This is my swimming spot, Krabby Barras. Uh, seriously, where the hell is my boat? to Arcadia Ruins and see if we can finish this thing. Bound by blood, 
That's what the old archives tell about the living fortresses and their pilots. The machines created to protect the kingdom of Arcadia became its worst nightmare. After Mesmeroth shred the world to pieces, corrupted living fortresses made sure nothing would rise from the ashes. People survived, even men with my bloodline. The living fortress Oceanhorn can trace my blood, as I am a descendant of that ancient pilot who used to operate Oceanhorn. Somewhere there, beyond those impenetrable walls of White City, rests Oceanhorn. Surrounded by thousands of withering bones of ancient Arcadians. The kingdom cannot be rebuilt until that monster is destroyed. Aww, that's Dad's flute. I'm sure that's going to come in handy at some point. The Simpsons. <laughs> it's just every time, every time that tone plays. ugly thing in the background Kate, there. You came. My plan did not work out. All of a sudden it changed and I could not control it anymore. But I was able to cut it loose from the power grid. It cannot repair itself now. Listen. When Oceanhorn wakes up, it will try to fry you with its death ray. Make sure you are prepared. You are a tough kid, and you have your mother's strength. Light inside you, that makes you go one step further. Something I never had. When this is all over, we should visit her grave and tell her all about your adventures. Oh boy. No, it's moving again. Run, kid! Just leave me and save yourself! Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, oh, come, oh, come on, that's not cool. Chucking bombs. <laughs> That's my move. I'm I'm the only one allowed to chuck bombs at the enemies. Heal up. can't block him because I don't have any stamina. I gotta get behind that wall, I guess. And those bombs, Jesus, it's just two or three of them and they just hit me right on the head. Come on, come on. Oh, he's moving too fast. Ah! Jesus!
I had all he had to do was not throw a bomb at me. See, the problem is, is I can't run and then hold up uh, for my shield. Because my shield uses all of my stamina. Immediately, he just drops a bomb. I can't even dodge it. Moving. See, I'm out of stamina. I can't. His bombs will block his laser from himself. Come on, come on, come on, hit him. Ugh. Come on, come on, come on! No! Stop giving me coins! I don't... This game has not done a very good job of informing me of things all along the way. And uh, doesn't make, oh, that doesn't make any, that's ridiculous. And the guide I'm using doesn't even go past the, uh, uh, the temple uh, that I was at when I uh, fought the, um, 
the giant demon lord, whatever the hell is Shadow Shadow Dude, whatever. I don't even remember his damn name. He was so important to the fucking story. It doesn't. It doesn't even have a final chapter. The 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 what I've been looking up on my phone. Just that little bit right there almost used all of my stamina. And if I run, then I won't have anyone get back up. See, he gains a little bit back. How am I supposed to dodge that? Oh. I mean, I'm just standing there and immediately a bomb comes out, hits me right on the damn head. Oh, see, I'm out of stamina. I, there's nothing I can do now. This, this is one of the most bullshit fucking final... I don't even know if this is the final boss. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of symbols on my chat. Uh, Shadow Fang! There! Okay, now I know. Hey, Shadow Fang, it has been a long time. Good to see you back. Hang on a second. I can't go into this fight <laughs> with as little health as I have. <laughs> Good to see you. How have you been? I'm having a miserable time with this fucking game. <laughs> this is one of the most bullshit final bosses I have ever run. Like I said, I don't even know if it is the final boss, but this is... The, the game has in no way prepared me for a fight like this. I feel like there's maybe some health somewhere around, but I really don't want to make this game any longer than it is. I'd like to. I'd like to just kind of, you know, compile this and get it done. And I get really close, and then the the bombs just come flying out. Come on. Hey, then stop moving around. Ah. And I don't know if there's a pattern to it or or what. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I need to get back to some Jackbox, but if I don't if I don't chat with you in just a second, give me give me a bit of time. This boss is ridiculous, and I've been stuck on him for a little longer than I should. And I feel like I should anyway. No, no, I didn't drop him. Damn it! Any time. <laughs> no! No, sit your ass back down. Oh! Uh, see, now he just starts dropping bombs. I can barely dodge it. Now I'm stuck on the damn wall. Ah. Come on, come on. There. Oh! I think I blocked the bomb. I think I blocked it. Come on. Stop with the bombs, make with the laser. 
Oh, you jackass. Oh. I mean, seriously, no lube, sandpaper condom. This is a bullshit fight. I couldn't move on because the dash button and my pickup button are the same ones. I've been, this, this game's been screwing me like that the entire time. Like, anytime there's a sign, I'll run into the, I'll, I'll read the sign instead of dodge, dodge roll. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> I think I'd rather be playing Dark Souls. At least there you have a chance. Kid, you can. Oh, shut up, Dad. As long as he's not, as long as those bombs aren't blocking, uh, blocking his laser. I can do quite a bit of damage. Why would you give me a break like that when I need help? <sighs> oh, got him, got him, go, go, go! Oh, come on! You cannot make him that deadly accurate with the fucking bombs. Oh! Come on. Come on, put him down, put him down, put him down! Yes! Oh my god! Oh. oh crap, of course that isn't his final form. Just give me a checkpoint, don't make me have to do the whole thing again. Oh. Yeah, those bombs were no joke, and they launch out without any warning. Oh, Jesus, do I gotta fight more? <laughs> oh, crap. I have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Let's turn the... Let's turn these things on, then. Oh, okay. There we go. What the hell happened? Oh, how far back did I go? Okay. Alright. I don't have to go back and do the entire thing. <laughs> it might be a while before I play Elden Ring. If, if Ocean Horn's kicking my ass this bad, I don't need to be playing Elden Ring right away. 
All right, all right, all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big fierce beastie. Let's go. Okay, so hitting the turbines puts a beam of electricity between the two of them. That shocks him, but it also kills me instantly. Come on. Oh, shoot. Come on. Ah! How about you run through the electricity? Oh, what a what a surprise. It doesn't hurt him a bit. Come on, attack! You gonna stand there and shield the entire damn time? I don't know where the hell he's attacking. There! Come on, drop some hearts. Ugh. Hang on a second. Okay. <laughs> Good seeing you. Hope to see you around for uh, some more time there, man. Sorry I didn't uh, not respond in too quickly. This is um, this game seems to be way more intense than I feel it has any right to be. So <laughs> uh, check out all the links in my um, uh, uh, my uh, about page. I've got uh, a bunch of a bunch of stuff down there. I've got a new video review channel that I've uh, been working on. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, any games that I've been playing, I try to post to my YouTube channel. So be sure to check those out. It's good seeing you, man. We'll see you around soon. I know we will. All right, let's get some turbines going. Come on, step through it. Step through it. I don't know if I'm gaining any ground or not. Ocean Horn isn't getting damaged in any way. I just keep running into his apostles or whatever. And now he doesn't want to even... There he goes, there he goes.
Okay, I'm gonna try something here. Let's let's. Oh, there we go. There we go. Well, I thought. I'm not seeing any uh, any hit points or anything. And if I'm supposed to, if I'm supposed to drop the um, soldier there, all he does is stand there with his shield up. I can't get a hit in. And now he's throwing bombs. All right. Well, screw it. That's what I'm gonna do. See, he doesn't, he doesn't take, uh, his, okay. All right, so it's not a matter of running out of time. He literally just, he just stops, uh, standing around. So I can only have two turbines running at the same time. All right, let's turn that off and see. And then he comes right out. And then I gotta focus on him. Yeah, that's the one that drops the heart, isn't it?
And it's gone. Drop a heart. Thank you, Jesus. to God don't know if I'm making any progress at all. Stop dropping crap. I need health. Coins and bombs. That's going to be a big fight. I think I'm just about done with this damn game. I'm trying to kill these things so that I can get some health. Because he gets all the way down to about a quarter of health left. And then starts all over. I don't know. An ocean horn, I can't I don't know how I'm supposed to damage him. And then he throws out fucking bombs, and then I can't get the fucking turbines. I'm done. I'm done. I've had enough of this. This is fucking stupid. I... I... Kill 50... I get an achievement for that? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? This is ridiculous. Swear to God. I should not have to be looking up as much as I do with this game. This is supposed to be a simple little game. This is this is ridiculous. Ocean Horn. How the fuck do I kill him? Final battle. I don't even know if it's the final battle. Jesus Christ, play the flute. Are you out of your goddamn mind? Give me an item, never make me use the fucking thing, and then make it the most important part of the final battle. I mean, am I supposed to remember this stuff? I'm too busy trying to deflect his damn lasers. One bomb and I'm already dead. Was I at full health when I came in here? No! Really? That's that's the whole damn thing? Nobody else should be able to control it. 
Oh my god. Yeah. At what point in the game was I supposed to know this knowledge? begin to understand when Mesmeroth cursed the sacred emblems. The balance of the world was disturbed and it had a severe effect on living fortresses. Without the guidance of the emblems, they lost their sense of purpose. When your mother brought the emblem of sun back to this world, some part of Oceanhorn woke up. Suddenly, it had a direction. It desperately started to seek the right pilot. A descendant of the Knight's bloodline. Only the most noble among Knights were chosen to be pilots of living fortresses. Those were our ancestors who operated these war machines. All that Arcadians ever wanted was to secure peace. Look how pissed off my character looks. <laughs> Sometimes he looked like he was seething, and I don't blame him. Be an act of evil. It was forbidden to combine technology, magic, and blood in Arcadia. But Archimedes was willing to cross that border by creating living fortresses. When the existence of Arcadia was threatened. He was not the first one to succeed in these dark arts. And he won't be the last. Esmeroth turned himself immortal by doing the same thing. He sacrificed his body by casting a dark magic that bound his soul into a machine. Well, it's all over now. The sins of our ancestors have been purified. Power of the emblems have been restored. It's time to rebuild the world, kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess I have to kind of take a bit of that uh, bit of fault for this one myself. I, I tend to make things a little more difficult than they need to be. I'm expecting it to be a battle, not blow the flute and, 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 and you know, cheat the uh, way to the end. But see, in Legend of Zelda, the Ocarina of Time, you actually fucking use the thing. <laughs> I mean, I know, this isn't Legend of Zelda, but still, it wants to be Legend of Zelda. It should... Probably take some more notes. <laughs> oh man, it's a shame. I I, I was really kind of wanting to like this game a lot more than uh, I was going to. Uh, than I guess I ended up uh, doing. Uh, it seemed like a cute little game, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, it was just as short as it was. It would have been a lot shorter had I not got stuck and had to look up the re uh, the uh, answer on uh, as many things as I did. So, I, I guess in that sense it's a little disappointing, but, uh, you know, part of that's user error, but part of it is like, you know, when you have a bombable wall that um, you have to get to, and it doesn't, and it looks like the exact same wall that's around it, I don't know, I feel like that's, I feel like that's not necessarily my fault for missing it. You know, Legend of Zelda, as long as it's been around, you know, changes the texture a little bit at least, or puts a crack on the wall to say, hey, this might be bombable, or it makes a specific looking rock. <laughs> wow, 57%. That's probably as high as I'm going to get. Nine hours. <laughs> so. 
So, just out of curiosity, how far how far back does it uh, take me when I save? Is it at the beginning of the Arcadia Ruins? No, nah, it's right here with right here with that. So, well, I'm not going to go back into the the whole thing. Um, who knows? I might uh, go back and do some achievement hunting uh, in uh, just a little bit. But um, I think that's uh, I think that's going to do it for this evening. So. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's that's gonna do it for uh, here. Um, <laughs> so um, let's see. I got to uh, got to bring up some stuff here. It's all over the place. Uh, want to uh, give a shout out to uh, Envy City. Envy City. Uh, not exactly sure how to uh, how to pronounce that, um, but uh, used to be uh, Shadow Fang. Uh, an old fan of mine. Glad to uh, see some uh, familiar faces, even if they have a different username. Um, let's see. Uh, so it's Monday here, and I don't know what I'm going to play next. I've been uh, working on um, Infernax in uh, in my spare time when I uh, have a moment to uh, play. It's not a very long game, but it's a fun game. And uh, I've been working on unlocking some new things. I'm trying to get the official ending, but uh, you, you gotta get some you, you gotta get some playthroughs before uh, they'll let you do that one. So I'd like to get that one uh, done, but uh, I've got a little bit more work to get to that one. But uh, when it comes time to do the official final run, I'll be uh, doing that uh, here on the broadcast. So maybe sometime this week, I don't know. Uh, so as for what I'm going to play tomorrow, not really sure, but uh, I will definitely be uh, broadcasting same time, 6 o'clock p.m. Uh, Sydney Standard Time, and uh, we'll be uh, flipping our um, clocks back uh, at s real soon, I think, if we haven't, uh, no, 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 all of my clocks are all the same, so uh, nothing automatically changed, so it's got to be coming up in the next couple of weeks at least, I think. So uh, anyway, thank you for joining me uh, on this uh, run through Oceanhorn. Uh, it took three different broadcasts, but we finally got through the damn thing, as cheap as some of them battles actually <laughs> were. Oh, that last, that last one, yeesh. That was not a that was not a fun end to a game that was uh, a little frustrating at times <laughs> for as small as it actually was. Uh, alrighty, so uh, as always, uh, be sure to check out my other channels, uh, especially my uh, movie review channel, uh, Sugar Pants Video Basement. It's a project I've wanted to get off the ground for a long time, and uh, it's got some pretty humble beginnings, but I've got some big plans for it as it continues. And uh, the entire first season is out. Season 2 is coming up in just a couple of weeks. Uh, with uh, six new episodes on the way. So be sure to check that out. Uh, links down below in the uh, About page. Uh, follow me on Twitter for all the announcements and uh, some other fun stuff. And um, uh, check out uh, Nothing Beast Gaming on uh, YouTube, as uh, that's where I post uh, all of the uh, episodes that I uh, record here. If you miss it uh, when it's live, check it out there and uh, uh, see all the... Um, Everything that's there, it's uh, it's, it's basically just a you know rebroadcast uh, purpose, but um, it it gets me some hits and and uh, some traffic and everything like that. But uh, if you check that out, I do appreciate all your support. So that's going to do it for uh, this evening. Uh, thank you again for uh, stopping by, and until I greet you again, y'all have a great rest of the day.